Now this is a corner terrace at the Teluk Kurau Landed Enclave. Today, Property in Brothers is at District 15 with one of our Landed Home Tour series. If you are looking for a corner terrace within a kilometre to some of the most popular schools in the East Coast Enclave, this house might be one of the right choices for you. So let's follow us as we kickstart the home tour. Let's go. Alright, so definitely we want to kickstart with the facts of this land plot first. We are right now in the D15 Telukura landed enclave. As all of us know, Telukura is a pretty huge landed estate in the entire D15. There are different zonings right here. Later, I'll share with you a little bit more about the pricing behavior and of course, some of the preferences in D15. This land plot, corner terrace, freehold in nature, land size is 2,152 square feet. We have three and a half story. The half story, of course, will be the attic level. In totality, four very good sized bedrooms. They are all en suite. There is a small helper's room right on level 1 with its common bathroom as well. As we head in later, you will notice that this corner terrace has been built to very good specifications, I would say. The construction was done in 2003 and 2004 period. So right now, that's about 17 to 18 years old. Comfortably, part one car. You have a main gate that opens outwards. You have a side gate as well. Small little garden area right here. And because you're a corner terrace, you look a little bit like a semi-D as well. The entire side walls is openable. You can open up, walk straight into your living plus your dining zone. This part of Telokura, we are located at the very south corner of Telokura Enclave. So this lane is called Steel Lane. We are having this very nice cow design, which is on my left hand side. So in Telokura, it's not easy to get a land plot that is located within a lane that leads to cow design by nature. Because as you can see from the road line, most of the lorongs right here, starting from all the way from lorong N, lorong J, K, M, they all will lead through all the way towards the other side of Telukura. But Steel Lane itself, you enter through Steel Road, you end within Steel Lane. Technically speaking, that means that the cars that are coming through, they are all your neighbours within Steel Lane itself and there's no cars that's going through towards the other zoning of Telukura. And that means for you, traffic is fantastic. There's not a lot of cars that's coming through your main gate. If you notice, in terms of the road line, dotted lines in between, no yellow lines at the sides as well. That means that you are allowed to park your cars between the left and right side. Telukura is mixed use lander enclave with boutique developments that can go up to five stories. Right, so because this house was built within the past 17 years, if you were to have a look at the external facade, it belongs to more of the modern kind of style with nice full glass panel windows fronting towards the front. So of course, a lot of houses that were perhaps in their 20s, they will usually have the kind of triangular red kind of roof. So this will be the intermediate kind of uh, design that first started from the early 2000s. And of course, now in terms of modern build, there are a lot more glass facades that are happening right now. The garden space is still intact. You can use that as your garden space. If not, if you want to level up the entire zoning, you can possibly park in two cars just by turning in to park at this angle before you can logically park two cars. But this one, I think will have to be a slightly smaller hatchback. Coming into the living space, in totality, we have three and a half stories as mentioned. The bedrooms will all start on level two, followed by level three. Attic level, there's a nice roof garden upstairs with a little bit of attic space. Let's say you are thinking about building a lift and wanting to future-proof this house, we have two locations that you can do that. One possible location, according to our architect's recommendation, is that you do a more hefty A&A &A that will include pushing out this front portion. The key reason is because the car porch has still a lot of space to go. If you look at this provision at the back, even though I parked my car pretty deep, you still have a good provision for you to push out this wall. So you can push out the wall, realign the main door. Let this entire portion be your living room space. You can refer to our 3D visualization. Build your lift shaft right here. That will pump straight up to level two and three. So the cost of buying the lift usually is about 80,000 to about 100 grand. If you want to do this level of a and that will include close to $300,000 based on our 
quotation. Another possible location will be to plant the lift shaft at the dining space because that will heat up to the family area on level 2 and 3 as well. So two options right here we can provide you with the plans when you come for a physical viewing. Buying this property right here, in terms of the asking price, this is asking at $4.28 million for this corner terrace that is about 2,152 square feet. Current build out is about 2,500 plus. There is still way to go in future if you want to rebuild this house. So the very first thing you can do is to re-renovate the entire place. We've gotten a quotation that will cost probably about $200,000 to re-renovate the entire interior. Most of the things right here that you see is pretty solid, including the staircase, the flooring. If you want to do some major revamp, maybe about $300,000 if you want to rehack a lot of the web works, entirely remod all the bathrooms plus the kitchen and the backyard and front porch as well. Probably about three hundred plus thousand will be more comfortable. If you want to go for an A and A, as we all know, A and A costing right now is, is scaling up towards the rebuild cost. I wouldn't suggest doing A and A because it's really close to about seventy to eighty percent of the entire reconstruction cost. I would suggest either you do just renovation, that means setting aside about three hundred thousand dollars. If not, is to go for a full rebuild, maybe five years down the road. Right now, this structure is still sound and well. It still looks pretty modern. You can live in here for a family first for the next five to eight years before you really decide whether you want to spend about one and a half to two years to do the entire rebuild. So if you want to do a rebuild, the costing is about $1.2 million to rebuild this house to perhaps a build out area of close to about 3,900 square feet. And that will then include, of course, putting in the lift as well if you want. So the base rebuild cost 1.2 mil there about of course you want to scale out in terms of your materials usage to maybe really top grade materials then you have to set aside close to about 350 or maybe even 400 dollars per square foot Let's have a look at the dining area. Dining area, fantastic in terms of space. Brightness is great because you already have four huge panels of sliding glass doors that's behind me. As you come to this part, I would suggest that if you're doing renovation, knock down this entire wall, build a dry kitchen, open counter concept with a nice huge island right here with a quartz top. And as you come in here, this will be your squarish kitchen. And uh, also consider to knock down the back wall as well, build in that glass panel. And and then you have a more see-through effect from the front of the main door all the way to the tail end of your house. So we like the fact that right behind us is a semi-D and because of the fact that this is a semi-D, there's this huge setback from this neighbor's house and that gives a very cross ventilation feel from the back lane all the way to the front part. So if you walk at the side, construction is solid. Usually what we do is that before we market a house, we bring our builder and architect, have a look at the place together with us, what is the potential of this house. The car porch, if you notice towards this portion also, there's this roof panel that allows the lights to permeate through. So that brings uh, about brightness for the entire foyer zone and the car porch zone. Later as we head upstairs, there's still some options for you to do. But before we head up, storage area is already allocated with your home shelter that is tucked underneath your stairwell and of course over here you have an under staircase storage but of course this is a smaller storage so you have two storage space. So this is your helper's room. Not a very big room, very suitable for a single bed and you have a common bathroom right here. This home at Steel Lane actually hits the right sweet spot in terms of schools as well. So you are within a kilometer to four different schools. One of them is Taunan. It's also close to CHIJ Katong. And it's close to Hate Girls. It's close to St. Pat's as well. Not bad for your master room if you want to extend out and now it is legal by BCA terms to actually extend out your master room into the car porch roof to make this like a balcony walkout area. So this will potentially cost you about 30k for the work itself. But in terms of submission, you have to take note that even though it's approved by BCA, you still have to do soil tests, you have to do load bearing tests, and uh, you have to get a qualified personnel to do this for you. And that kind of qualified personnel cost 
cost will cost probably about 40 to 50,000. So I would say it would be good to allocate perhaps about 80 to 90K uh, if you want to do this project. Now the mushroom size is great. King bed, four panels of wardrobe space, nice sitting area right here. And then at the same time, there's a lot of walking space for you. You still have additional wardrobe space here. So there's another five panels to have some pull up drawers over at this corner right here. So that's on top of the four panels that you already have. En suite, no long bath for the en suite bathrooms right here. They're all standing shower. House flooring and the wall tiles, they're all still in great shape. So usually when you buy a resale landed, if you don't want to re-renovate the entire bathroom, what the new owners will do is that they will change the WC. They might change the tap a little bit, change the shower head a little bit. And that's pretty it. As you can see, flooring it is parquet the moment you walk up there from uh, level 1. So even the landing here, these are all made with parquet flooring. You have a family area right here that sees all the way up to level 3. This study zone, use it to build some very nice bookshelves here. And then use this entire area to be the study area. You can easily fit in two seats over here. If you want to extend an L shape, I think you can even sit one more person right here. This is the area that we're talking about if you want to build your lift shaft at your dining space but I would personally prefer that if you were to do a lift shaft use it at the current living room area because that is a more viable space if you do that your lift will actually come up from here the only thing is that that might eat into a little bit of your master room but I would suggest that if you don't really need a lift for now then don't do that only do that together when you rebuild the house because that's more worth it Bedroom size, fantastic. We love the fact that the bedrooms are all constructed with the space in mind. So king bed again, side tables. If you want to put in the wardrobe, that will be the wall line for you to put a wardrobe over here. Right now, we're putting a nice armchair with a small little coffee table. En suite right here. So fantastic if you have three kids because all your kids can have one very good size bedroom. If not, maybe two of your younger children can share one and then you can reserve one bedroom for your old folks as well for everybody to live together. Alright, so as we come upstairs, you'll notice that every level is seemingly pretty bright because of the fact that at the family zoning, there are all huge panels of windows like this one. So it really brings in a lot of light to every landing. You don't have to worry about certain areas of the house being dark. Houses that are like 10 over years old like this one, there is a lot of this concept in mind. Now, if you come to this level, there is a smaller landing right here because this is being left uh, as an area for you to look downward. So if you want a little bit more safety, you can actually glass out this point portion right here. If not, you can apply to level up this area also for it to be another family zoning. As you head towards this room, this is the smallest room looking towards the back of Steel Lane. So as you can see, you're much higher than the Semi D that is over here. And because of the fact that the Semi D setback is pretty wide, so you have this very nice cross ventilation coming through. Of course, you have an ensuite over here. If you want to put in a queen bed, still doable, that will mean that it might come up to this portion right here. If not, you can put a nice bunk bed right here for your two kids. This room is equally big, similarly overlooking towards the front. In the future, towards that direction, which is about 700 to 800 meters away, that will be the MRT station at Marine Terrace. So if you were to walk and cut through, uh, that would be perhaps about 10 to 12 minutes. So it's going to be extremely convenient. Coming back to this room, there is still this nice walk-in closet zoning just like the one in your master room with your ensuite over here. And as we head out, starting from the landing at level 2, this will all be parquet flooring. So let's head to the attic level. So this is a bonus attic area. Suggest that you use this as a games room or maybe just as your storage area. This nice roof terrace over at this direction that overlooks towards that portion of the East Coast area. So as you can see on the left hand side, you can even see the Parkway Parade sign Kalang Stadium towards this portion right here. If you're on the east and you look towards the city, this will be towards the west direction. But of course, you don't have to really worry about the west sun. The only part you will get the afternoon sun will be perhaps at your roof terrace. Most importantly, a a lot of people will want to focus on the front and the back facing. So this is front facing towards south, back facing towards north. So the cross ventilation is going to be fantastic. 
right now in 2021, it's not easy to get an Inter Terrace. Talking about just D15 itself, Inter Terrace brand new is already above $4 million. Inter Terraces that is like maybe 10 or 20 years old, that is already scaling at about the midpoint of 3 mil to 4 mil, which is about 3.5 million. If you're going for older Inter Terraces, that is already starting at about $3 million. So coming back to this corner terrace, this is asking at $4.28 million. The price is still negotiable. If you were to do up a rebuild calculation, let's say maybe five years of owning this property, you decide to tear down the entire place with maybe more bedrooms, about five to six bedrooms, and that would then add in about $1.2 million to your total bill. I would say that this property right here will be very suitable if you are buying something for the land, for the lane also, quieter lane, something that is freehold in nature. Structure is great, enough bedroom, not too old do give us a call if you want to have a look at this place the link to our listing manager george and gavin is right here and of course head down to our website at propertyandbrothers.com to have a look at some of the details of this landed property we will list down all the specs and details right there if you come by for a look we'll show you the landed report with some of the key designs that we have walked through with our builder and architect and once again don't forget to subscribe to our property and brothers youtube channel click on the like and subscribe button be notified of our next landed home tour my name is melvin lim Prop to them, brothers, as always, happy to show the place. In the meantime, take care. 2152, 2541, three and a half, three plus half. 2152, 2541, 8.7, 23.1. This is my promise to you. Thank you, Josephine. I would treat you one McChicken that's worth $2. <laughs>